Okay, so... To people watching this when it's published later on YouTube, hello internet and welcome to Onyx, I mean to OTGM Reviews where it's old school and new school news. And today I'm going to be reviewing the Platinum Demo for Final Fantasy. Now, some random stuff to know about me, alright, so I'm a Final Fantasy person, alright. Ever since the first Final Fantasy game for NES, I've loved Final Fantasy. Just like my big brother being Deadpool. Shout out to my big brother. Hopefully he will watch this later. I'll probably tell him about it when I'm done. But I've been a Final Fantasy guy for a long time. From the first one for NES, to even Final Fantasy 3, to even Final Fantasy 7. You know, as complex as the lore is, I love the stories that come out of Final Fantasy, and plus, the gameplays of Final Fantasy. So today, why not review the demo? Now, I know this demo's been out for a good while, all right? But I wanted to experience this for myself. I watched my big brother play it a long time ago when it came out, just this demo, and I want to figure it out for myself. Hello, Brandy, welcome to the review. And, you know what? Let's just dive right on into it. I, I want to see what this is going to give me. So, new game. I want to not just experience what I saw with my big brother. I want to experience this for myself as a Final Fantasy person. So, let's see what this is going to give me. See if I have the same thoughts as I had before. It's a car. That was a carbuncle. Oh. 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 Huh? What is this place? Huh? Oh. Hmm. Such an adorable little carbuncle. Oh, thank you. Hmm? Hello, can you read this? In front of you. You. Most adorable. I like hey, the music wait. too. The music's nice. This is the world of your dreams. All right. So, right stick moves around the camera. The move is this stick, all right. Yeah, it's called a carbuncle. Uh, let's see, jump is X, roll dodge is square. No, nah, not bad. Okay. All right, jump, all right. And I'm guessing my D-pad goes to different stuff, all right. All right. Oh, uh, I guess I get these. Okay. Not bad. Unlock bronze plate. Okay. This is really weird. Oh, don't worry about that guy. He may look scary, but he's a real good. Okay. Alright, so let's see. Let's get this here. It's checking around. I'm coming. I like this music, though. Did I get them all? 
I actually got them all. Nice. Actually, you didn't get the notification late, actually. I had literally just started. Um, you haven't just dozed off. You're out cold. If you want to wake up and see everyone again, we're going to have to find the exit. Okay. Lead the way, Mr. Carbunk. Just lead the way. All right, what's this? Time sped up. Okay. Jump up here. All right, so. All right, let's see. Oh, there's something up there. Well, at least I'm pretty good at, uh, you know, my, uh, platforming. Alright, so I'm guessing that there's another way to get up there. Alright, hold on. Go back. There's something right there. Oh! I actually missed this one. Okay, good to know that I came back. Alright. Alright, what's this? The weather has changed. Oh, okay. Not bad, actually. Oh, okay, so... Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Alright. Not bad. Did I get it? Yeah, I got it. Alright. Alright, lead the way, Mr. Carbunk. Or, um, okay. Okay. God, they don't look too friendly. You won't be able to take them down barehanded here. Try out your new equipment. Size of pressing. All right. Toy sword or a squeaky hammer. I'll take the sword, actually. Come here. Hello, Mr. Dan. Welcome to the review. How are you? All right, so there's something over here. I'll go that other way in just a minute. There's something right here. What do I do? Oh, okay. Apparently, I can't go that way yet. And there's the other enemy right there. We'll go take him out. Oh, it's getting dark. Oh, wow. Sorry if it's dark and stuff, guys. Forgive me. Alright. Cool. <laughs> it's doing emojis. Oh, that's funny. So it does little emojis. That's, that's pretty funny. All right. All right. Trying to channel my inner Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts to something stirs in the dreamscape. Okay. Oh. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Do I just drop down there? No. What do I do? Alright. I don't know what you gotta do now. You know, it's just over there. Let's change the weather back and see if that does anything. I believe this changes the weather. Yep, there we go. 
There we go. Now I can actually see a little better. But I like the music though. It's not that bad. Very calming and soothing. I need to see where I gotta go. Oh, okay. Now I can go over here. Follow my tail. Ready, set, jump. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. I still need to see more of this to know for certain about uh, how this is. For now, it's okay, but it doesn't really feel like a king, a uh, a um, Final Fantasy game. So, uh, where were you supposed to go next? Okay. Carbuncle got really big. Can I move now? Oh, I think you'll like these. Try throwing one. It'll be a blast. Fireworks, huh? Hold circle to grab a bomb. Aim it with the left stick. Then launch one at your foes. couldn't move. That was weird. I turned into a truck. Okay. I think I found it. What did you find, Carbuncle? The tabletop. Okay. The hell? I'm back to being a truck. Oh, I have to press the R2 button to move. All right. This is really weird. Alright. Very interesting. The dang emojis! It's freaking hilarious. Alright. So let's see. I think. Alright. There's. I think I can go this way to go up. I might be going the wrong way, but I don't care. Oh, seems to be enemies over there. Okay. Eh. So it's L3 to... Just pressing L3 to sprint. Only thing is, though, is... The sprint is not that fast. It could be better. All right, time to attack some enemies. But I'm a sword guy, so that's why I use the sword. See, I'm very used to wacky control angles. Like camera angles. I'm used to wacky camera angles. Bink doesn't really like camera angles. I've actually learned, I guess you could say like a self-defense mechanism on how to use some camera angles to my advantage. As long as I like know what exactly I have to do in an area, camera angles won't really be much of an issue like I'm dealing with this situation. But keep in mind, I'm not hating on my big bro. I'm just saying he has strengths that I consider weaknesses. But I have strengths that he would consider his weaknesses. That's why me and him are like yin and yang. Me and Bink Deadpool are like yin and yang. Like, for example, 
I'm a guy that likes to kill things. I like to shoot things. You know, that's that's how I am. You would most likely see me doing first-person shooters, but that doesn't mean I don't do um, RPGs, you know? I do like RPGs, don't get me wrong. RPGs are awesome to me, but at the same time, Bink would be most likely to play an RPG. That's Bink. He is the RPG guy. But both me and Bink are, you know, like uh, lore people. Like, you know, RPG. RPG is role playing game. How am I, how am I finding the demo? Well, I'm not sure. I'm not exactly sure what you mean by that, Red Sonic. Aside from that, welcome to the review. I'm just reviewing certain things. Oh God, a heart emoji. Oh Lord. Now, if you're asking how how I'm what I'm thinking about the demo so far, it's all right. I'll give my full review after I'm done with it. I'm gonna get all these little thingies here. Knock down some blocks. Because when I was a kid, I loved knocking down blocks. Why not, right? Alright, so there's a ring here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. How do I feel about it? Uh, it's okay. Um, I watched Bink Deadpool play this when it first came out. But, um,. I guess you could say I overwhelmed myself over time, so I ch forgot about most of it, if you catch my drift. So it's kind of like a blind playthrough, but at the same time I remember certain things about it. But I'm starting to get what Bink was talking about. It doesn't feel like a Final Fantasy game. This feels like Kingdom Hearts. No offense. This just feels like Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, I, I can see that. You're looking for a long hallway that'll lead to the end of your dream. Let's look for it together. All right, Mr. Carbuncle. Let's do that. See, you know I'm a Final Fantasy guy if you, if you know automatically what this little creature is right here. That is a Carbuncle, all right? I'm a Final Fantasy boy. That's what it's going to be. Weather changed. Huh, <laughs> rainbow emoji. Interesting. But I'm a sword guy, so that's why I'm using a sword instead of a mallet. Or a hammer. It, it looks like a fucking mallet. Alright, it looks like a mallet. That, that's what it is. But I'd say in terms of a tutorial... Yeah. Exactly. That's actually exactly what I was thinking about, um... When I saw the little carbuncle, I was like, Oh, yeah, that's Final Fantasy VIII. Yeah. It's okay. Cool. <laughs> that's actually exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. But, uh... It seems interesting so far. Watch out before he tries to do something. Alright, come here, you. But like I was saying before, is that me and Bink are literally like polar opposites of each other in terms of our gameplay styles. But the same token, me and Bink play a lot of have played a lot of the same games growing up. I've played Final Fantasy games a lot when I was a kid. Played a lot of first person shooters growing up as well. But I've learned over time I'm more of an action based person. Where do you think where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going? Come here. Come here. 
Now keep in mind, you know, there are some games that me and Bink, like, uh, I guess you could say, for example, um, there's games he likes to play that I don't like to play. But it's very rare, actually, um, what certain things both me and him don't like to play. Like, for example, I guess one perfect example is Bink is a Marvel vs. Capcom guy. I'm not. I played the demo, actually, the Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite demo. It was alright. Not my type of thing, you know. But I can see why people like it. I can see why Bink liked it as well. I thought I thought there was something over here. Oh, there's a bigger one right there. I need to get out of there. I need to get out of there. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me get some distance here. Take them out one by one. One by one, day by day. Get out of the way! Alright. Out of there, we'll deal with this one now. And Bink says I'm not good at luring monsters. Shit. Uh, three days left till episode prompto getting hyped. What do you mean? Come on. Thank you. Final Fantasy 15 DLC featuring Ponto. Oh, okay. Good to know. I keep my eyes out for it. But yeah, my my past when it comes to Final Fantasy, I love I love Final Fantasy. I absolutely love it. You know, one of my favorite characters, of course, being you know Cloud Strife. Um, Cloud Strife's my dude. One of one of my first gaming crutches was Tifa Lockhart. I love Tifa. A woman's fucking sexy. Um, and, you know, I know the struggles of Sephiroth. I know the struggles of Kefka. You know, so when Bink was playing those games on the channel, go check those out, by the way, when you ever you get a chance. You know, I, I know the struggle. I know the struggle that he was speaking of when it comes to Sephiroth and Kefka and all those motherfuckers. Except his start with Final Fantasy was a little bit different than mine. My start with Final Fantasy started on the original NES console. While if I'm not mistaken, his start was Final Fantasy for uh, Super Nintendo. Got it. That, that platform, though, you would love the struggles of the villain in this game. Probably. I don't know yet. See, if it's a game based on a franchise, okay, I don't know if it's going to be good or not. That's just me, all right? Same with Bink. He just sends the no. Up ahead is where your dream ends, the one place you feel safest. Okay. Too bad I can't go through those doors. You've always been a real sleepyhead. Okay. Maybe your dream will end with you in your bed. See, I know all about you. Pretty impressive, huh? It's kind of scary, Mr. Carbunk. So I wonder what's out here. But yeah, I believe Bink's start was Final Fantasy III for Super Nintendo, but my start was Final Fantasy for the NES. Which is why I loved when he did the retro plays of Final Fantasy 1. I, I absolutely loved it. Are you ready? The end is just up ahead. Okay. 
crack my my arms there but what am I thinking about the demo f right now mm, it doesn't feel like Final Fantasy it feels like Kingdom Hearts this feels like my struggle my feel when I've played Kingdom Hearts 1 and Kingdom Hearts 2 for PlayStation which I love those by the way oh It's the city. Hmm, something doesn't feel right. Okay. Boss fight? Feels like boss fight hype. It totally feels like boss fight hype. It's your home and all, but it's true is it truly your safe place? No! Oh no, Carbuncle. I'll, I'll explain more about about it in a minute. Don't be afraid. I'll protect you through the darkest wow. dreams. This one will protect you through your darkest dreams. But remember, Noct. In the world of your dreams, you are king. Not bad. Not afraid. Okay. Not too shabby. All right, let's go. Oh, okay. Okay. So that's how you defend. You gonna hit me? You gonna hit me? Hit me. Hit me! No. All right. Guard. Well, that defend doesn't really do much. Defend. 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 Alright. Defend. Come on. That's bull. Let me go. Haha. Come on. I think somebody's getting angry. Not bad. All right. Ah, oh, you get into a stasis situation. Okay. Feels like Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Ruby light. All right. Ah, oh, wow. Okay. Why did you do that? Oh, okay. That's good to know. Get up! Fuck, get the hell up. Alright, come on. Attack him. Why won't you attack him? All right. Controls are a little wanky. But it's all right. Oh man, I was about to do something. get behind me. Down. He's down. 
I hate how it said hold square to defend. Yeah, it, yeah, like you said, though, Red Sonic, holding square doesn't defense you. It puts you in a stance where you can dodge the attacks. Yeah, yeah it was interesting. Yeah, it was interesting. To block, you have to time the square button. That's actually what I was doing. That's actually seriously what I was doing. So there's a question mark there. And then there's that there. What is this? I'm guessing that this restarts the boss battle, maybe? Let's find out. A duck emoji. Yup, it does. All right, let's let's do it. I want to try it again. Hmm. Black hole. Oh, luckily this is here. Oh no. That's fine. At least your HP heals. I'm gonna get my MP back up. Wait for it. Oh shit. Oh no. Really, man? Nope. Nope. I need to get my MP back up. Nope. Really? Get up. Come on. Oh, so he's a level 15 now instead of a level 3. That explains quite a bit. Oh, come on. It gets you automatically out of lock-on? That's bull. That's bull. My MP needs to go up higher. Come on. Get on 30. Roll out, roll out, roll out. All right, Brandy. We'll talk later. Come on! That range is atrocious. That's cool. Let me try something. Oh! So that's a longer sword. Okay.
Oh, come on, man. Fucking bull. Oh, come on. That's cool. Come on, move out of the way. His range is really dumb, to be honest with you. I don't like his range. It's like when you think that you got the dodge, he just comes out and does something stupid. Which, okay. So it's a heavy sword. Oh, Cassie. Come on. What the hell am I supposed to do here? Oh, finally. Come on, do something. Do something. Do something, please. How am I supposed to do it? Okay, it's MP fully restored. Really? The giant is a fucking troll. Troll out of the way, come on. Come on. I need to get my health back up here. Get my defense here. Cool. Take off the lock. Was that what you were talking about, the something special thing? Because I pressed L1 and R1 at the same time. Was that what you were talking about? Hmm. Yeah, because I pressed L1 and R1, and it did that. What's this do? Time sped up. Time sped up again. I'm just looking around. Oh, okay. Hmm. make it rain. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and use this question mark then. Step on the awakening plate and proceed to the ending? Sure. It's a car. Hey, that's your dad's car, isn't it? Now I get it. This is your safe place. It's a nice car. You can always be with your dad when you're riding in his car. Mr. Carbuncle. Everyone's waiting for you. Thanks. See you. You bet. <laughs> We're in some dang case whistles up in here, though. Those are nice shoes. Wait. I remember your name now. Enter a name for your dream guide. Hmm. 
It'll be a good name. Now Carbuncle can be transferred to the full game. Oh, okay, cool. Let's see, what would I name him? I'm going to think of a name on my own. Um... Let me think. I know what I'll name it. Minerva. Minerva. Which, in other words, is the name of Athena. Athena, goddess of wisdom. Athena's Roman name is Minerva. Use the name Minerva. Yes. Congratulations on completing the Platinum Demo. Go. Cool. However, Noctis' fragmented dreamscape offers only a mere taste of what's to come. Okay. In Final Fantasy, you will join a grown-up Noctis and his dependable buddies on a journey across an immersive and expansive world. Cool. From all of us on the Final Fantasy team, including your favorite little magical guide... We look forward to seeing you again soon. Alright. See you again soon. Chuckabo! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, not yet. Purchase the game at any time by selecting Order Final Fantasy from the title screen. Hmm, okay. Okay, so what are my thoughts on the demo? Because this is a review, right? So, does it feel like a Final Fantasy game? No. This doesn't feel like Final Fantasy, to be honest with you. And I'm sorry. It just doesn't feel like Final Fantasy. It feels more like Kingdom Hearts. Now, is it a bad demo? No. No. This is actually not a bad demo. I and I kind of enjoyed it. Um, Jim at the Moogle, Chuckabo, Carnival ending. Will love walking around with the Carbuncle. Ah, nice. Um, but uh, I'll take a look at this demo again in my free time. I'm gonna keep the demo on my PS4. Um. What would I rate the demo on a scale of 1 to 10? Mm, I'd say maybe between a 7.5, maybe an 8. Because, okay, my reasonings are just my own. Everyone's entitled. No, I'm fine. I got a bit of a shift, uh, Sifley nose. Um, plus, the music's really nice, and I get it. I get a teeny bit emotional when I hear music like this. Uh, but, uh... What do I think of the demo? Well, it's got good aspect to it. It's got good graphics. It has some nice atmosphere to it. Hence the fact I'm wearing my really nice headphones and headset, you know. Um, is it Final Fantasy, though? That can be argued about, though. That can be, you know, much argued. Um, I'm kind of in the same boat as Bink Deadpool. This feels like Kingdom Hearts. It doesn't feel like Final Fantasy. And there are some people that say, even to this day, that Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy have the same type of formula. No, it doesn't. People who say that should go and replay the original games. Lately, Final Fantasy has been losing its formula lately. It doesn't feel like the Final Fantasy I grew up with. Maybe Bink is in a different boat as me. Maybe he's not. Who knows? But demo was nice. The demo was nice. I wouldn't give something a rating of higher than seven if it wasn't good. Atmosphere had great music. You know, I'd say. The game 
It depends on the development of those characters, Red Sonic. See, when it came, I'd say that the last Final Fantasy game that was good was Final Fantasy VII. That's my opinion, all right? Your opinion could be different. Anybody else watching this, their opinion could be different. You know, but I believe that the last Final Fantasy game that was good was Final Fantasy VII. You know, just that whole aspect of Cloud Strife and finding out the true, actual past of Cloud just blew my mind completely when I was a kid. And even still blows my mind even to this day. You know, and everybody's experiences are different, of course. You know, some people could probably think that this is one of the greatest demos they've ever played for a Final Fantasy game. Some people could say that this was the worst demo. I, however, think this was a really good demo. You know, it's just my, my main conclusion is that this feels like Kingdom Hearts. You know, it doesn't feel like Final Fantasy. That that's just that's just my opinion. Okay? This isn't me saying that the demo's bad. This isn't me saying that the carbuncle right there on the screen isn't adorable. You know, like I'ma tell you, alright, is I've I've played Final Fantasy VIII, alright? Only somebody that's played Final Fantasy VIII knows what the hell that is on the screen right there. Alright? Final Fantasy VIII was okay. It wasn't as good as Final Fantasy VII. But even still, all right, even still, this is a demo that I recommend people to play. Maybe forget that it is a Final Fantasy demo, but just to play it to see what atmosphere is supposed to be in a game, okay? I guess maybe that makes sense, Red Sonic, is play this for the atmosphere, the music, and the graphics. I enjoy that. This demo has all three of those. I'd say the only issue I had with the demo was the boss fight. See, me playing games over the years, some new, a lot old, I've been I've learned to measure out distances in terms of some conference and you know distance length times width you know, in terms of battle systems. So people make mistakes, all right? But the situation with the giant sword bothered the crap out of me a little bit because when I thought that I was far enough away to get away from that one slam, it did something different. And uh, it's just a small little thing I thought that was kind of dumb, all right, but good demo. I'd say between a 7.5, 8 is a really good rating for this. I recommend people to go check out this demo. You know, well, okay, the boss, I'm not going to say it shouldn't have been in the demo. There should have been a boss in the demo, but one that made a little more sense in terms of for the demo. All right, that sword that the giant has is my only issue with it because when you think that you've measured out enough distance to get away from him, that's where it gets kind of on my nerves, okay? But aside from that, yeah, guys, go play the demo and you'll probably feel the same way I did. Maybe I'm not going to quote that. But this just feels like Kingdom Hearts. Doesn't feel like Final Fantasy. But I still love Final Fantasy. And I still love Kingdom Hearts. Okay? It's just two completely different formulas. It, okay, okay, I guess that's what you could say. The reason why I think this is more of Kingdom Hearts. Is simply because. Of the formula. This is the formula for a, fi for a Kingdom Hearts game. The formula for Final Fantasy is something completely opposite of it, all right? People played Final Fantasy 3. Some people played Final Fantasy for the NES. 
Some people have played Final Fantasy 7. Some people have played Final Fantasy 8. Hell, look at what Bink's playing on his channel. You know? His Friday Final Fantasy. You know? That formula is Final Fantasy. Alright? And then there's the formula for Kingdom Hearts. Which is this formula. This formula that was for this demo is Kingdom Hearts. It just is. Alright? It just is. But keep in mind, alright, I'm not dissing the demo, I'm not dissing Final Fantasy, and I'm definitely not dissing Kingdom Hearts. So, everybody watching this later and everybody watching right now, don't get the wrong idea. You know, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. I like the demo. It just shouldn't be labeled Final Fantasy. That's, that's just me. You know, that's just me. But... I think it's time to go ahead and end this review. I want to tell everybody thank you for coming to watch from Red Sonic to Brandy. Thank you so much for coming. And to the people watching this now and to the people watching this later when it's published, if you support me and what I stand for and my positivity and my love for gaming and my love for everybody that comes to my channel to show love and support click that like button on the stream and leave a nice positive comment down below when this is published later you know just show that love show that support you know well yeah I, I, I get what you're saying Red Sonic you know I'm not saying that you're wrong I'm not saying that you're wrong at all but I will stick to what I've said like a broken record throughout the whole review everyone's entitled to their own opinion you know everyone's entitled to that one opinion you know your opinion is probably different than mine brandy's opinion is probably be different than mine who, who knows you know but it's okay we, we're all here to love each other we're all here to state our opinions and of course you know yeah it's supposed to be a free country kind of but, as always, everyone, thank you so much for coming to watch this review. I am your friendly neighborhood gaming machine. And this was OTGM Reviews Live Final Fantasy Platinum Demo. And until I see everyone in the next video or stream, peace out and happy gaming, my friends, and bless you all. Ho, home on the range, and the deer and the antelope play, where seldom is heard a discouraging word, and the skies are not cloudy all day. <laughs>